Hi, welcome to this Code Miles video on Drawing Lines. In this video, we're going to look at how to draw lines of certain lengths by using a ruler and a pencil. So as you can see here, we've got our ruler and we've got our centimeters at the top. So it's a 15 centimeter ruler and we've got our inches at the bottom. Typically, whenever you're asked to draw a line, it'll either be in centimeters or millimeters. So it'll be these centimeters that you'll probably want at the top. Now you can see it's a 15 centimeter ruler and each of the longer lines represents a centimeter. So we've got one centimeter, or zero centimeters, one centimeter, two centimeters, all the way to 15 centimeters. And the longer lines represent those. The lines that are slightly shorter are the five millimeter ones or the half centimeter ones. So that's half a centimeter, that would be one and a half centimeters, two and a half centimeters, and so on. And finally, we've got our small lines. And our small lines represent millimeters. So if we start at zero, in one centimeter, there are 10 millimeters. So that would be one millimeter, two millimeters, three millimeters, four millimeters, five millimeters. So half a centimeter is five millimeters, six millimeters, seven millimeters, eight millimeters, nine millimeters, and then your 10 millimeters, which is the centimeter. So as you can see, these markings at the top show us our centimeters and also our millimeters, so smaller ones. Okay, let's have a look at a typical question now. So our first question says, draw a five centimeter line. So we're gonna draw a five centimeter line using this ruler. Now I'm gonna be using the computer to do it. So whenever you're drawing a line with a ruler, it actually helps you keep the line straight. I'm gonna do the best I can, um, but then I'm gonna cheat and just make it straight at the end. So we've got our zero centimeters at the beginning and we're gonna draw a five centimeter line. So we make sure we've got a ruler here nice and straight and we're gonna start here at zero and we're gonna go across the five centimeters. So we start at zero and we go all the way one centimeter, two centimeters, three centimeters, four centimeters, and then we've got our five centimeters and we stop there. So that is our five centimeter line. And yours should look something like this. Okay, a nice straight line that is five centimeters long. And sometimes it's useful to label the line. So I'm just going to write five centimeters beside it. So I'm going to write five. And then instead of writing centimeters, I'm just going to write CM. And that stands for five centimeters. So let's say we've drawn a five centimeter line. Okay, next question. Our next question we've been asked to draw a 12 centimeter line. So we're gonna start at zero and we're gonna go all the way to 12 centimeters. So get your ruler and your pencil, start at zero and we're gonna draw all the way to 12 centimeters. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. So that is a nice straight line going all the way exactly to 12 centimeters and if you draw that with a ruler and pencil it should look something like this so you see it's a nice straight line that's exactly 12 centimeters long and that's it okay let's have a look at our next question so our next question asks us to draw a 2.5 centimeter line so that is a two and a half centimeter line so it's going to be here the in the middle of two and three centimeters two and a half centimeters here so we're going to start at zero and we're going to go all the way across very carefully to two and a half centimeters. So there's two centimeters, and then the half is this slightly longer line in the middle there. So that is a two and a half centimeter line, and it would look something like that. If I just move my one away, it would look like that, two and a half centimeters long. And again, we can label it, and we can write 2.5 centimeters. And actually, we've got the label of this line that was 12 centimeters long, that one. Okay, and next question. Okay, this time we've been asked to draw an 8.3 centimeter line. So this is eight centimeters and three millimeters. So we're gonna to go to the third millimeter marking after eight centimeters, and that'll be 8.3. So it's going to be, if we go to eight centimeters, we then got one, two, three millimeters. So we're gonna to go to there, that point there, that 8.3 centimeters, eight centimeters and three millimeters. So we're gonna start at zero, and we're gonna go all the way across to two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then we've got a three millimeters, so that's 8.3 centimeters long, 8.3 centimeters. So if it's 8.3 centimeters, that means eight centimeters and three millimeters, and you'd go to the third marking there. If it was something like 7.9 centimeters, you that would go be seven centimeters and nine millimeters, so you'd go to seven and then to the ninth little marking, the ninth little marking afterwards, which would be the ninth millimeter there, the one just before the eight, and so on. Okay, let's have a look at our last question. So our last question asks to draw a line that is 37 millimeters long. So remember, in each centimeter, there's 10 millimeters. So in the first centimeter, there's 10 millimeters. In two centimeters, there'd be 20 millimeters. 
in three centimeters, there'd be 30 millimeters. And then our 37th millimeter would be, well, it's gonna be 3.7. It's gonna be the seventh millimeter after the 30. So it's gonna be exactly there. So what we would do is we'd start at zero and we'd go all the way across to 37 millimeters or 3.7 centimeters. And that's it, so that's 37 millimeters or 3.7 centimeters. And that's it. So whenever you're drawing a line with a ruler and a pencil, I would always say make sure you use a pencil rather than a pen, because if you make a mistake, you can rub it out. Second thing, whenever you're using your ruler, make sure you're using the right measurements. Typically, it's going to be centimeters or millimeters, so it's going to be these ones at the top here. Also, whenever you're drawing your line, make sure that you start at zero. So it's very important you start at zero. Some students accidentally start at the beginning of the ruler rather than zero, and that would be wrong. So make sure you start your line at zero. And that's it.